you know, the holidays are coming. Yay. I you know, oh, yeah. Just put up the tree today. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Kim, my wife, had put up a tree late November. She says, you know what? This year sucks. Let's have Christmas now. <laughs> and, and I need some Christmas tree. I need something to make this year not suck. Yeah, no, it, uh, it's one of those things. We don't like putting it up until December. Yeah. And then based on when the weekend hit, it was like, I don't want to do it this weekend. So then it fell onto this weekend now. Yeah. So. Well, you know, 13th of December or 12th of December, or whenever you put it up a couple of days ago, that's that's reasonable. Like, it's December. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think... We've put it up know. later. <laughs> oh, really? Like, just in time for Santa to put those little presents under the tree. <laughs> yep. Yep. Th that has happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was one year where we got the tree up and I put the lights on and just kind of went uh, yeah let's not put up the ornaments <laughs> let's just you know i think the there's you can buy leds now that are that good that they will actually do patterns like led patterns going up the tree like uh, i've seen them on you know all the promoted ads that i get on instagram now um and uh it, these look pretty good, man. I don't think you need a lot of ornaments if you have these things running on your tree. My problem is that... And, and I've got to do it again. I've got all the lights up except for the very top because I ran out of strands. Why do I run out of strands? Because every single year, all my lights are working. I pack them up. I put them in the box. The next year, I pull them out of the box. I plug them in and half the lights are out. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I yep. don't understand why. What happened? Um, last year, I was went, got silly about it and actually checked all the bulbs to try and make... Because literally, I think half my strands were uh, only partially working. And I was like, wow. okay, this, okay. Is, this is dumb. And some of them, I know for a fact, were the ones that I'd bought the previous year. And, That's uh, really weird. Yeah. It's not like you're like mistreating or tangling. Because if no. you're anything like me, you'd be putting them very carefully back in a very organized way in a box. I make a loop. <laughs> and then I put them in a box. Okay. But I'm not just gonna... crunching them and you know dumping them in. And just dumping them in. Yeah. So they're a big rat's nest, basically. Right. Yeah. No, there's... Yeah. There, there's A degree of method to your madness. Yes. Yes, yeah, I'd agree. But the but that's why I'm saying I don't understand what happens in that time period. And the thing is, is like when I went and checked the bulbs, there weren't that many that were dead, and mm. I would replace them with real ones, and still the light strand wouldn't. And so it's like something in the wire. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, as, oh, I just get LED ones. Like, are yours LED or yeah, incandescent? Mine are LED. Mine are LED. Yeah. But as is the case of uh, every year, I need to go out and buy yet another strand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have a big tree or a sort of, well, I guess big is hard to, to find. How big is your tree in height? I believe it is six and a half feet. Right, okay. I think. That sounds about the size as ours because we've got high ceilings here. We've got nine foot ceilings. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think that that's about the size of ours. And we've got a, I think a 200 strand light string. Um. We, it's funny, like Kim is in charge of the decorations. I'm not really super Christmassy when it comes to decorations and stuff like that. Um, I enjoy looking at them, but I have no interest in setting them up <laughs> at all. Yeah. Um, so, like, I will just, I will admire the tree. I go, that looks really nice. But yeah, don't involve me in setting it up because it just makes me cranky. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I really am the Grinch when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, this year it's just white, white lights that don't blink they just stay on they're just really basic but last a couple of other years we had like lights that are like full-on multicolored, and they strobe and we found that the blue ones they actually made the place look like a shooting gallery like if they oh, were wow. you know as in a drug shooting gallery like that <laughs> it was like that they were that blue that you could have a blue light disco in there yeah and and it was like all your shirts would glow you know, like this shirt would be like super like glowy. Nice. Um, and it was so like the, the the strobing of the lights was so intense. It was like sitting in the middle of a pinball machine during multiball. Like it was so bright. And we just said, no, we can't have that this year again. Like it's too, it's too intense. Like the random motors is too intense. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Merry Christmas all and happy Hanukkah. So... 
some of you may have noticed that you're not going to have as merry a Christmas as you hoped for because your mm. arcade one-up pinball cabinet will not be, in fact, showing up under the tree. In fact, no. you got a notice saying it ain't showing up until February, which is a right bummer. <laughs> it's, it's a massive turd under the Christmas tree, isn't it, really? It is, and yeah. there turns out to be a very good reason for that, and I'll just bring up this uh, official post from Arcade 1-Up. Oops, that's the cargo ship that was delivering a lot of their product, and as you can see, it's tossed this way and that. Um, it's got a few problems. I think someone didn't quite stack things right there. Well, it is a rather major right storm. Uh, here's another uh, more dramatic picture. <laughs> um, dominoes went toppling. I think they said they lost or damaged almost 2,000 containers. It's it's like it's a chaos on that boat. Like they're like you can see how much the containers are actually listing over to the left. Yeah. How much cargo they lost. Yeah. Like that's like that back row. It's like pretty much half of the back row is just over the side for it to topple like that. So if you were wondering uh, why the delay, there's a pretty good reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not COVID. It's not accessibility to parts. No, it's literally the containers are now claimed by Davy Jones, and he's really enjoying all those pinball machines that you ordered. So that though means I don't know for a fact, but it doesn't seem like the Legends pinball is shipping before Christmas. No, I don't think the. I get the feeling. Again, we don't know because no one talks to us, but <laughs> um, the. Uh, the Legends pinball was in a pre-order lottery phase. So that doesn't necessarily... I think they go into the lottery and then they allocate units. No one that I've heard in the At Games community has yet received any shipping confirmation. So they're still in that... Yeah, we're, we're probably still building them phase. Would be my guess. Please do correct us if someone else has other information available because we don't. <laughs> Which means... That of the four pinball cabs that were coming out this year, the two that everybody was most looking forward to uh, aren't coming out in 2020. <laughs> and instead, right. and we're not even 100% sure Well Played is supposed to now come out December 15th, I believe is when it was shipping. Uh, mm. But that's it's already been delayed one time. So yep. we'll see if that happens. Otherwise, the one that has been actually shipping is the Toy Shock 12 and one that was mm. the same one that was from last year. That's right. And you can go and order those now, I believe. I don't think you can actually pick them up in retail stores um, like Walmart or Walmart, but you can go and order them um, and they will ship. Yeah, and I just, I just checked there saying it was shipped by December 19th if you ordered it yeah. today on December 12th. So. so there you go. If you are absolutely gagging for a digital pinball machine and you don't care, then you can go <laughs> order a Toy Shock. I just, I just really find it funny though that the uh, the two that were on everybody's least list are going to be the only ones available. It's like, well, yeah. they're, they're probably still on people's least list, but they <laughs> at least you can buy them, right? So if if you want something to tide you over until um, February or whenever. Um, go go out and and get some Gottlieb action. I mean, the, you know, for the for the person who wants to buy a, a Toy Shock or well played, um, they're, they're certainly the right price. Like you can get a pinball experience for um not many not many clams, but at the same time they're not going to be they're not going to hold up well when these other cabinets come in. Um, so you're saying yeah. you might have buyer's remorse. Oh, just just a little bit. Although, if you're a kid, you probably won't because you'll love it. And if you know, we know that Toy Shock is aimed at the um, the younger generation, um, so not us old people pinheads. Um, so you know, if you're a kid and you see that underneath the tree, and you, you know, you, I reckon you'd be pretty happy. Sure. Because um, so, you're, you're not going to be getting a PS5 or. Xbox well, S no, or so whatever those is. are on titanium. Those are still on titanium. So you may as well get a pinball machine and have some fun. Like at least it's a video game. Right? Right. So anyway, just want to uh highlight and update everybody on that uh what the uh, situation was cuz I wanted to confirm. I didn't even like when I first saw the post 
and with somebody had posted a picture of the ship, I was like, okay, is that just an excuse or is that really the deal? And then yeah. one up actually posted it to their official was, website and went, okay, yeah, it's yeah. the real deal then. <laughs> I, I saw it pretty early on um, in all of the, uh, the, the, all the channels, all the so, like social media rooms. I mean, I went, mm, okay, that's, it's, it could be the case. Uh, but yeah, you can't deny it now <laughs> when it's nope. officially announced. 